Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for, for attending this uh, webinar session. Uh, my name is uh, Christian Lack. I'm a senior engineer at uh, Topics and Big Dive Program Manager. Uh, we organized this uh, session to provide uh, detailed information about the Big Dive data courses in 2020 uh, to update uh, potential participants uh, about the uh, uh, coronavirus emergency in Italy and, of course, to answer some of your, your questions. Uh, together with me today, Stefania Del Prete, uh, she's my colleague in topics and data scientist in topics, uh, and she will talk specifically about some models uh, uh, of the course and will help me uh, to reply some of the some of the questions. So uh, let's go quickly to the webinar agenda. We already did the first point, so welcome and uh, uh, guidelines for participants. Uh, I would like to give you a brief introduction about Big Dive. Uh, then, as I said before, some important information about the uh, coronavirus emergency. Um, we'll go uh, for a focus on 2020 models, particularly about the schedule, the guest lectures, some requirements, and so on. There will be a special uh, guest, a special gift for you at the end, and we will have um, a Q&A session with the, with the participant. So, first session, Big Dive in a nutshell, a brief uh, introduction about Big Dive. Uh, Big Dive course has been uh, designed in uh, 2012 uh, by Topics uh, as uh, an intensive uh, training program um, aimed at boosting the tech data skills, particularly to train data scientists and to generate impact uh, using data. Um, we organized Big Dive in, uh, in partnership with some valuable partners that you can see here. So first of all, Accent is a software agency with strong uh, uh, Python skills and um, software architecture um, knowledge. iSight Foundation, that is a leading research center in the field of complexity, computational epidemiology, and uh, data for good, data science, and uh, Todo, that is a studio focused on interaction and computational um, design. Let me also spend um, just a simple slide on, on topics. That is the company I work for and the real Deus ex machina behind Big Dive. Um, topics uh, uh, means Torino Piemonte Internet Exchange. It is a non profit um, consortium founded in 2002 with the aim um, of creating and managing the Internet Exchange uh, for the exchange of Internet tra traffic in the Northwest part of Italy. Uh, furthermore, Topics promotes and supports uh, to its uh, development program uh, technological and business innovation projects based on the broadband internet, data, and networking and computational infrastructures. Uh, I want to remark that these two actions, uh, I mean the internet exchange and the development program, act synergistically uh, to promote the growth of the local territory. Well, Big Dive. Uh, um, as a solid history, as you can see here. So we organized eight editions uh, so far, starting in 2012, uh, plus one edition focused on data visualization. Mm -hmm. uh, Big Dive has been designed as an international uh, initiative, and we were able uh, to attract people from all of, all over the world. And we are very happy, very proud of this fact. And as you can see here, we, uh, trained more than 150 students uh, over the years, uh, and basically they are not simply uh, simply students for us. Uh, what we are trying to achieve is uh, to create a kind of real community. Here you can see some of the teachers from the previous uh, uh, previous classes. Uh, we collab we still collaborated with many of them, uh, maybe um, for some projects or inviting them as guest lecturers or teachers in the next courses. Uh, and uh, again, the point here is that um, we really care of these people, this relationship with the, with the, with the past alumni of the of the dive. Maybe you can find or discover some of your friends uh, uh, among uh, these uh, these uh, past. Uh, Students. And this is the last, uh, last class last year. Okay? Good. 
um, by leveraging the experience of Big Dive uh, open courses, uh, we also organized some training programs for corporates with uh, custom syllabus tailored on their specific needs. Uh, as you can see here, we, we collaborated, we, we worked for, for many banks and insurance companies, uh, but we, we have experience also in other sectors. So if you have a company or if you work for a company that is interested in some custom programs, please write to us and we will be happy to, uh, to discuss uh, further details about this. Uh, finally, let me close this uh, first uh, uh, section of the presentation with a little recap of the Big Dive key ingredients. Uh, these ingredients basically made uh, Big Dive a kind of success story, at least for topics, and, and they are the following. So, um, first of all, an end on and learning by doing approach. These two words are real, a kind of mantra for us. Um, we are trying to, to, to create a kind of immersive experience in, uh, in our course uh, and also a friendly and open atmosphere, mm? uh, trying to uh, reduce the gap between the students and the teachers. Our teachers and guest lecturers are, are field experts because we really want to uh, provide a kind of field experience, not only a teaching experience. And the last point is uh, very, very important for me. We really love to have heterogeneous profiles in our classes because we think this is a great value for, uh, for our course. Good. So this is the end of the first part of the presentation. Let's, uh, let's focus on what, we will happen, what will happen in 2020. Uh, this year, we decided to, this is our original plan, by the way. Uh, and this year we decided to move from the four consecutive weeks uh, course uh, to four standalone modules. Uh, this is a big change in our course structure. And um, behind the, these, uh, these uh, reasons, there are also some, uh, some important feedbacks uh, uh, from our alumni and from our past uh, uh, experience. Uh, first of all, this new structure aims at allowing people with different backgrounds to attend the course choosing the training focus, but also depending on the level of the knowledge they have at the entrance. Uh, secondly, we do hope that this modular structure is more company friendly, let me say. Uh, in fact, a four consecutive week course is a huge investment, as you can imagine, for most of the startup or enterprises. Otherwise, one single week could be easier to manage for them. And finally, uh, this is an attempt, a way to boost specialization in an age where the topics related to data exploitation are literally uh, multiplied, okay? So it is really impossible to cover in a single course all the data stuff, all the data skills, and we decided to focus on some specific tracks in order to uh, maximize the impact and the, and the um, teaching experience. Okay, uh, but really, this is a big change from uh, from uh, from the past. Um, of course, we we really do encourage our participants to um, to attend the entire program, so all the modules, uh, because basically they are designed to be a kind of a continuum in a, in the training experience. Uh, um, nevertheless, we admit. Uh, um, the participation to just one, two, or three modules, okay? Not, not, not the old one. Uh, we finally planned the, this, again, this is the original plan, an hackathon event, a long hackathon event uh, that, uh, that is open basically to people from uh, all the Big Dive uh, modules this year, but also to the people from past Big Dive courses. Um, this is a... Um, a dream being and to have uh, people from uh, uh, also past uh, big dive courses uh, and working together on some great challenges provided by companies uh, or or social societal challenges but uh, basically then something uh, probably unpredictable has uh, has happened as uh, you know better than me and of course this screenshot is not up to date so the 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 numbers are 
even bigger, unfortunately. And really, I don't want to spend more words on this situation. I'm not an expert, and I believe that uh, information here must be provided by authoritative sources uh, and with a solid scientific validation. Um, on the other hand, let me remark the amazing reaction by scientific community on this global challenge. Uh, particularly, I mean, of course, doctors, nurse, uh, nurses, uh, um, epidemiologists, and so on, but particularly lots of data scientists are really committed to interpret data, uh, to provide trends, uh, statistics, uh, and resources uh, to every person. Just uh, as an example, just a matter of example, we collected here in this page of uh, Big Dive website some great hackathons uh, uh, focused on, on this um, coronavirus uh, problem, basically, and um, some resources also here, but really there are plenty of resources that you can browse uh, uh, online. And uh, some of them are really, really amazing. So thanks to all the people providing these, uh, those resources. Um, let me say that today, more than ever, uh, it is clear to the masses the importance of data and of knowing how to interpret and to analyze it. Okay, of course, we, we cannot be uh, insensitive to such an emergency. And uh, as a, a consequence, uh, um, we decided to shift our models uh, after the summer. Hmm? Um, we will show the, the, the effective dates uh, soon, but we deeply believe uh, in uh, our in-class experience and we realized that a simple one-to-one -one conversion to uh, online training was not possible uh, without a deep change in the program and in the standard quality that we want to achieve with our training. So uh, again, we decided to move forward all our modules hmm, after the summer in order to, um, to allow the, 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 the structure and the and the courses. Um, some important notes uh, just to um, anticipate some possible questions from you. Uh, if any of you already completed the application form and we confirmed the, the eligibility for the course, uh, of course your application will be kept valid. Mm -hmm. um, then of course if the pandemic will have a long tail, we do hope no, but in case we will have a long tail with cases also after the summer. Obviously, we will take proper measures to guarantee uh, the safety of the participants. Mm, this is our pr priority, as you can as you can imagine. Okay. Um, given the fact that uh, the models will not change, uh, that the main structure will not change, uh, um, but we will simply move them forward. We can now enter a bit more specifically into the single into the single courses, um, and this is the main topic of this uh, section of the presentation. So I would ask you, Stefania, to jump into the webinar and to present uh, uh, the first two modules of Big Dive 2020. Sure. Thank you very much, Christian, for the introduction of all the models. Um, now we're going to dive in uh, into each module. The first of uh, the first of our series will be from zero to data science and Python. The new dates uh, will be the from the 14 to the 18 of September, Monday to Friday. Uh, this model will be able to introduce the data science also from beginners. So we will give uh, some um, some resources if you're not uh, um, not uh, particular skilled in Python. And then on the first days, uh, we will review the Python, uh, uh, the basic of Python, so data structures, uh, uh, flow, <clears throat> the control flow, etc. Then we're going to dive more into the statistics side, and we go through that through NumPy. Uh, NumPy is a scientific library for Python. After that, uh, we're going to uh, learn how to implement. Uh, a uh, data set of uh, different kinds through pandas. And, uh, and then we'll, um, we discover some uh, graphical uh, uh, representation library, particular macro dependency born, in order to have something very quick, very, um, very basic that we can uh, 
uh, we can directly see uh, the trends of our data sets. We'll have an introduction uh, in machine learning. This will be, this will be uh, one day specifically. And, uh, and finally, we'll have a project that we can do together in order to wrap it up all, uh, all our experiences. We will have uh, um, a system in order to use the Jupyter Notebook uh, online for this first module. And uh, if, you, if you do this first module, um, I will underline that later, you don't need to um, pass another quiz uh, to access uh, the following module on machine learning. Uh, who will be teaching this module in this uh, next slide? Uh, we'll see that uh, for this particular module, uh, the core teachers will be me and uh, Nicolo Celli. Uh, we work, we both work in topics. Uh, I teach Python from um, now around three years uh, in the different courses that uh, Rinsia was mentioning before. And then we will also have a Slack channel in order to have uh, this continue um, approach uh, if you have questions during the week. We will not be completely alone. Uh, we'll have this uh, great uh, guest lecture from this uh, first module uh, by Maurizio Napolitano. It is also known as uh, NAPO, is a core developer on uh, OpenStreetMap, is working from the uh, SBK Foundation in Trento. And uh, with him, uh, we learn more about, uh, he's very, uh, he is an expert on uh, GIS and geospatial data. And after an introduction, we will die with uh, Joe Pandas. Joe Pandas is another Python library. And uh, we'll be very, very interactive to know exactly uh, how, how it comes to, to really work with uh, spatial data. We will have also um, another uh, lecture, another guest lecture to conclude the course. It will be by Daniele Tonini in Target Research, uh, it, and it will be about time series uh, with some example in nine. It's possible that here Sanskrit will be in R, but the main purpose will be to understand more how to work with time series, and we'll see also something uh, in Python. We can see here on, um, on the right uh, this uh, infographic that uh, if you go through the website, you can see this one for all the different courses, uh, and we sort of uh, divided the main skills. Uh, and you can see that uh, if you follow the full course, uh, you will uh, uh, be better and better in all of these categories that are the main category of, uh, uh, let's say, a full stack uh, uh, data scientist. Okay. Uh, for the second module, uh, machine learning, uh, machine and deep learning intensive, uh, the new date will be again from Monday to Friday. <laughs> From, uh, from 12 to 16 October. Um, this will be, uh, again, a full week. This will be very intense. So uh, to access this module, if you didn't access uh, the module before, we prepared a Jupyter notebook with different questions about the library that uh, we mentioned before. So NumPy, Seaborn, Amastroslib, in order to um, be completely for, for us and also for you. Uh, that you'll be sure that you can access to this module smoothly and um, continue learning in the in uh, this advanced module. So uh, in this course at the beginning there will be an introduction uh, and uh, going more deeply in machine learning on supervised and supervised uh, algorithm uh, with uh, Shiki to learn and uh, with uh, similar libraries. And then uh, we're going to go deeper in neural networks. Now our networks precisely using TensorFlow and Keras, and um, we'll see um, very soon that uh, our teachers are uh, especially in an expertise in computer vision, and they will be a part, uh, an important part on that. Our teachers, our um, uh, main teacher are Alan Perotti and Andre Panisson by ISI Foundation. Uh, they work constantly on um, on paper and great publication about uh, about the fields. Uh, we collaborate with the ISI uh, during the last courses. Uh, Alan Perotti is also an expert in uh, uh, explaining by AI, and um, and uh, me and Nicola will support this module uh, in a way that will be smoothly for for all of them. In this particular case, uh, we'll not provide directly 
um, an easy platform, so you need to be a little bit more skilled uh, in using Jupyter Notebooks uh, and um, Jupyter Notebooks and all the libraries that we mentioned uh, for the previous module. Also, in this case, uh, we will not be alone. We'll have uh, two amazing lectures um, by Matteo, <coughs> Matteo Giaretti by Globo. Uh, if you don't know Globo, Globo is, um, is an application that you can use it to um, to order takeaways, uh, but also to do the shopping online, especially for grocery. You can order uh, even flowers. And uh, especially in this case, uh, with um, the constriction of the coronavirus, it would be very interesting to know uh, how they process all this data. We'll have another very interesting lecture by uh, Alberto Danese uh, at Nexi, working uh, at Data Scientist at Nexi. And he's a very uh, skilled uh, data scientist that is, it is winning uh, different Kaggle uh, challenges. Uh, if you don't know, Kaggle is a platform when uh, you can have uh, access to different data sets, but basically is uh, drived uh, by challenges. So there is a, a data set, a challenge, uh, and people um, compete uh, to have uh, the best uh, precision in one particular problem to solve. And uh, they will be very interesting because uh, we can talk directly with a person that uh, know very well the system. Uh, we know also from, um, it was uh, um, a question from uh, all the students. So we hope that uh, we can answer these questions through these lectures as well. I pass you the, the word uh, um, to Christian for the last few modules. Thank you. Thanks, uh, thanks, Stefania. Let me jump back to this third module. Uh, the name of the third module is communicating and visualizing the data. And here you can see the updated dates of the, of the courses. Um, this module is focused on data visualization, but not only on data visualization. We want to uh, deeply focus also on, on data communication. So uh, the training objectives are to understand the real, the, the real value of data, to learn how to represent it practically to some computational design tools, and also to understand or to focus on the best practices and key rules uh, to communicate uh, the value to different audiences. Mm -hmm. um, so in order to achieve these training uh, objectives, uh, the, the, these are the following, the, the, these are the, the main topics of the course. So uh, foundation of information theory, that is very, very important to understand, um, but also the different approach you, approaches to data visualization, basically uh, from a fully custom data vid tool, like for example, data JS uh, library, to um, a more, let me say, plug and play templates and dashboards like Tableau, for example. Mm -hmm. So we will uh, understand and analyze pros and cons of these two approaches. And we will focus a bit more on the first one. So um, completely custom approach to data visualization. Uh, in fact, we'll provide a kind of uh, light introduction to data AJS library. And in order to boost, to power boost your uh, data visualization in the few time that we have uh, at our disposal, uh, we will introduce the Vega framework here uh, in order to, to, to save time and to have more important progresses. Um, a large part of this course will be, will be dedicated to practice and to, let me say, small projects of data visualization in order to arrive to the end of the course with a kind of uh, uh, real project to show in your portfolio or, in your own, or on your LinkedIn page. Um, also, please have a look to the radiant graph here and to the focus on the different skills that you uh, that you will boost in this uh, in this uh, training module. The main teacher here would be Fabio Franchino, that is computational designer and founder of Todo. Uh, Fabio uh, is, uh, let me say, a partner of Big Dive from the very, very first edition. Uh, so he, he has a lot of experience in teaching the 3JS and computational design, and he will be supported by our uh, designer Laura, Laura Pipinato, designer topics uh, that will help you in, um, in making progresses during the class. 
even in this case, we have some great le guest lectures, and we do hope to have more guest lectures uh, confirmed in the next uh, next week, next month. The first one is uh, Matteo Moetti, that is founder at Sheldon Studio. Um, Matteo is um, is a creator of some amazing data visualization. Please go to the Sheldon Studio webpage in order to see some of our some of their uh, works and their projects. Uh, they released just a few days ago uh, a great data visualization uh, focused on uh, on coronavirus. So, so um, you can you can uh, touch with your hands uh, their uh, their skill and their knowledge on this topic. And we also have an interesting partnership with uh, White Maxini. This is um, a data air art gallery based here in Torino. And the, and the goal here is to create a kind of physical dimension for the course. So uh, letting our students touch with your with, with hands uh, the artistic side of data visualization. Okay, good. Then, uh, last but not least, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, last module about data engineering. Um, this is probably the the. Let me say the, the the new entry for Big Dive, because in the past years we we covered this this topic, we featured uh, this topic in past courses, uh, but um, but this year we want to boost uh, power boost uh, this uh, uh, this important skill uh, for for data expert. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the last few months, last year, basically the the market demand for data engineering uh, was incredibly um, grown up, and so there are a lot of open positions for data engineering, data engineers. Um, we understood that in many cases, uh, uh, data scientists and data engineers uh, uh, are not interchangeable, but they must work together to achieve the result. And so we want to uh, give space to this skill in, in our course. Uh, even, in, even in this case, the, the, the radian here explains what are the main, um, the main um, feature of the, of the course. Uh, and we will try to uh, cover these, uh, these main topics. So first of all, uh, state-of-the-art techniques to manage large volumes of data. Uh, then, of course, some complex queries uh, through relational and non-relational databases, um, some asynchronous functions and frameworks uh, like Lambda, for, for example, to process data and prepare data. Um, uh, we want to let our students to deploy a kind of complete and automated uh, data pipeline from data acquisition to um, to exporting data to API. And in fact, API is another key topic in this, in this course. And um, last but not least, uh, we will analyze what happens to uh, machine learning and deep learning algorithms uh, when they move from your local Python notebook to an, and goes to the production environment. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very interesting topic. Um, usually, this is uh, a bit tricky, and uh, many of the scientists do not see this uh, side, uh, this dark side of the moon. Let me say, uh, we want to cover this this aspect. Um, of course, here uh, we have some internal skills about this, uh, but we are trying to um, power up our our teaching uh, team with a with a partnership with Accent, this is the, our historical partner in Big Dive, but also with, with the YouGov data engineering uh, team. And we are working on this partnership. We are happy, uh, and we will be happy to announce it. Uh, unfortunately, this uh, health emergency make a bit more difficult to uh, finalize the partnership because uh, this uh, YouGov data team is based in UK, actually. So we need a bit more time to finalize it, but we are really confident that we can uh, bring in, in our class some great teachers, uh, again, with a direct field experience on managing big volume of data. Mm -hmm. We already have, a, even in this case, a confirmed guest lecture that is uh, Agile Lab, that is a, 
um, company based here in, uh, in Italy, Torino, Milano, and other cities. Uh, they are super skilled with, uh, with Spark uh, framework and other data engineering tools. Uh, so um, they will provide uh, um, a different perspective on, uh, on, these, uh, on these topics. Uh, our, our goal here is to work as much as possible on uh, cloud tech, um, for example, AWS, uh, AWS, sorry, and um, and uh, in order to, I mean, to be more reactive also to the market needs that are going in this direction. Um, exactly as um, as in the case of the second module, I mean, uh, the machine learning and deep learning intensive. Even in this case, uh, we will try to to have a well-balanced class with some advanced uh, level. So um, we will ask to our, our student to complete a, an additional test before entering the class uh, in order to have a good, uh, good uh, level in, in all the participants. But I will, I will uh, talk about this uh, a bit later in, in this presentation. Good. Uh, let, me, let me remark still, uh, Still, the importance of uh, being something more than a simple, uh, simple training. So, what we want to achieve is really to create a kind of immersive experience. And uh, so, basically, we we are committed to organize also some social events, uh, and uh, again, to to, to foster uh, the contamination between the different participants. Uh, bringing their experiences, uh, their different backgrounds, uh, in some cases different cultures, because maybe uh, are coming from uh, from different countries. So even in this uh, this edition, even in this this uh, 2020 edition, we would like to uh, create this uh, great atmosphere that we had in the past uh, big dive courses. Okay. In terms of logistics and application, um, actually there are no bigger changes apart from the early bird price uh, deadline that uh, also is changed right now. So from April 20 mm, to, May, to May 31, to the end of May basically. And uh, um, the, the, the end of the registration for each module uh, will be one week before the starting. Um, we are we are also updating our website. Basically, this is the first uh, announce of the new dates of Big Dive, but we will update soon all our all our communication channels. So, first of all, the website, but also our social media channels, in order to uh, to publish the new dates that uh, you will see uh, immediately after after the presentation. Uh, venue for all the courses. Uh, will be our, I mean, topics headquarters in Torino. Mm -hmm. uh, so for people that are maybe coming from outside of Italy, we, you will also visit this, uh, this great city. And um, auto apply. Basically, uh, it is already available on our website, uh, the main uh, form to create the application. Um, we, we use this form to understand uh, um, your level, your entrance level, your skills, uh, uh, but also your, your goals, your ambitions. Mm -hmm. uh, so please try to provide us uh, much more uh, details you can. And particularly, we encourage to, 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 to play a, a short video, or a short video recording explaining why we have to choose you as a big time student. So this is a great opportunity for you. And we, we do encourage to use it, all the channels, all the, all the chance to convince us that you are the best student for, for our courses. Uh, again, I want to, to remark this point, uh, even in this case, uh, uh, for module two and for module four, uh, we, can, uh, um, we can also provide you an additional test uh, in order to uh, assess uh, your knowledge of the core skills uh, for the courses. Okay, uh, particularly Python experience, uh, uh, maybe also uh, databases experience, uh, because in one single week we can't, uh, as you can imagine, uh, cover and explain uh, also the basis 
of this uh, of these uh, disciplines so we have to start from a uh, from a solid basis uh, on this uh, on this topic okay good um in terms of pricing basically uh, there are no changes hmm? no changes compared to what you can find uh, right now on the on the website please note uh, um, the difference between the student and regular hmm? this is a important difference um, to provide i mean to be sure sorry uh, to be eligible for student uh, uh, discount you have uh, simply to provide a document uh, um, attesting that you are a student at the time of the registration so basically when you submit the form um, student for us is of course uh, uh, people uh, enrolled in any university uh, course but also in PhD program and also please note the important discount in case you apply for more than one single module uh, so again i want to, to remind this point we really uh, do hope that many people uh, attend not just a single course uh, but the entire program and we try to encourage this application by um, adding some uh, some important discount rate to the to the participation uh, as you can imagine, it is a bit tricky to, to create all the possible configuration, but you have simply to sum the different, the different prices and then apply this, this discount code. Let me, let me open the floor to, to, potential, audience, to potential audience questions. Um, again, please use the chat um, because it's easier and we do not have uh, too much noise uh, with, the, with the microphones. Uh, we collected, of course, some of the questions also from the, the webinar application, um, and to some of them we already replied during the, during the presentation. Uh, one of the, the questions that I, I remember is uh, this one. Uh, as a marketing specialist, how can I benefit from this course? Um, well, it, it's, of course, a kind of tricky question, but uh, for, for sure, the, 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 the third module, I mean, data visualization and data communication is uh, probably the best answer to this, um, to this question because uh, we, will, um, we will cover different topics and the, and the entire process that brings, uh, the, the, that extracts data from data and, and, uh, uh, and um, we will show you as you communicate the value of data to different targets and different audiences. So uh, if you are a marketing specialist, probably the, the third course uh, is the perfect, uh, uh, perfect fit uh, for, your, for your need. And uh, also because, I mean, the requirements for the, for the third model are a bit easier, let me say, probably compared to the other one, because you really need uh, just uh, some, uh, some basis uh, of HTML, CSS, uh, and uh, a bit of JavaScript in order to uh, in order to um, go through the progress with the with the code and uh, and um, and follow the teacher. Uh, there is probably another question here. So I have um, a like to... please, Stefania, join. Uh, I'd like to uh, add something to what you say about that question because. Uh, over the years, we saw different classes with uh, very different backgrounds. And uh, even if uh, some of the edition has a main topic, uh, they always find a way to retain some uh, learning from their own fields uh, as well. For example, we had uh, um, one of the students was from a finance background. And in the, in the project of last year, he was working on, uh, uh, on signal uh, sort of uh, radio signal and um, and waves, and basically he learned a lot about time series and how to use it in uh, its own field as well. So uh, perhaps also um, data science could be a good match for um, for marketing. Uh, it really depends on your background as well, because uh, now we see also machine learning, for example, that uh, is really a uh, conquer all kind of industry. Uh, so it's a mix. Is a mix of uh, 
what uh, what's your level right now and what uh, your uh, your industry is developing and um yeah we continue to see these kind of different uh, background classes that uh, they keep learning a lot from their own field as well and uh, if it's something very particular we can arrange a call and uh, check your background uh, with you and this is for everyone um we have um we have a calendly uh, set up uh, in each page that uh, you can uh, just uh, check it and uh, and uh, and close. Okay, good. So there are two questions uh, from uh, Ha Leon. So if uh, maybe a wrong pronunciation of your name, um, I, I, I'm, I will repeat it for for Stefania. I have a life science uh, PhD and I'm just starting with Python and I have two questions. First one, is the big dive diploma well recognized in the history, industry sector? Uh, to answer to you, um, let me say yes, because we are on the we are on the market with this course from uh, from eight years, so we have long long history. We have um, let me say great reputation on the market, particularly in the Italian market, of course. But um, we 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 know that people from, from previous courses, uh, uh, when they showed our our diploma, let me say our certificate, uh, add uh, add uh, some advantages in the in the hiring hiring process. Um, of course, we are not a university. We are not an educational uh, uh, educational um, um, entity in, in, in certain words. But again, in this case, our our history, our well known reputation is uh, approved of this uh, of, of the value of the course, mm -hmm. and uh, also the fact that uh, early uh, some of the teachers are. Have a strong, uh, strong field experience, so you can uh, you can really touch some uh, some great best practice uh, uh, from uh, from the market and from the from the from the field. Then the second uh, the second question is: What are the best modules for data science applied to research and development for healthcare? Okay, we do not have a um, specific track this year in these four modules. Uh, but let me say that most of the topic that you are that you will learn can be applied to to different uh, sectors. Um, I imagine, for example, computer vision that is, uh, that we, that is explained in the second module. Uh, there are plenty of applica of application of computer vision to healthcare, uh, to diagnosis uh, of uh, of uh, illness and, and so on. So there are a lot of application. Um, the same, probably the same, for, for, probably for the, the third module in terms of data science, data visualization, and communication, and of course, if you are if you are interested in the data pipeline, you you need to you need to jump also in the in the fourth module um, that is a bit more more back end, let me say, but uh, could be applied to all the all the different sectors. Stefania, would you would you add something on this uh, on this question? Yeah, I totally agree that computer vision nowadays uh, is uh, quite big in uh, in the healthcare section. Uh, again, depending on uh, your background, uh, if you already have some basics on uh, Python, you can uh, uh, access directly from the quiz from the forum and go to the machine learning intensive. Uh, otherwise, uh, we also suggest you to go through uh, the first module as well in order to be solid on that. Uh, and start to connect the links between the, your work and uh, which kind of data science project you can uh, you can work on. Because uh, healthcare could be from uh, brain images uh, to scan of a tumor to brain waves. Uh, so it really depends, particularly in your fields. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely agree with that. Uh, yes, I, I would just add that uh, basically, uh, if you are just starting with Python right now. Uh, okay, of course, we have some uh, some extra months uh, between the beginning of the course and due to the uh, date uh, shifting. Uh, but the, if you want to be sure to have all the requirements for the second module, I will uh, I would strongly suggest you to to attend also the first one that is exactly uh, focused on providing the 
core skills for, for a data scientist. Something that uh, we can address also that sometimes people ask, uh, and uh, we have it uh, in, the, in the frequent questions, uh, is that uh, we, you can check uh, all the questions before we had a PDF uh, on, the, on, the, the, on the questions. And so you can check it uh, uh, directly from there. And uh, another thing about uh, the pricing and the students uh, on our students, um, we accept also PhD student as student uh, doctorate. And something that uh, it seems really frustrated at the end of the first two modules. I happen to be quite involved uh, in the open source community and uh, NumFocus and uh, Python Foundation. So NumFocus basically supporting different uh, scientific uh, libraries. Um, one of the perks of that is to always have stickers uh, about that. We contact them and uh, we also in very good um, in very good uh, partnership with uh, the PIC on Italy in Florence that will happen uh, at uh, the beginning of, uh, of, um, of November right now. We shift everything, um, but uh, we still have these uh, little perks uh, that uh, make the student happy at the end when they learn, they completely learn all the libraries and then we have also uh, a speaker to print that, <laughs> establish that. Good, and, thanks. Yeah, uh, and thanks mm -hmm. Something that you mentioned before about uh, being stronger or not in Python, as we mentioned, we also give some uh, um, some resources if a person wants to dive a little bit deeper before, and uh, if they have questions, we are we're here to answer them as well. Yes, exactly. Yeah. This is the the thing that we want to want to add. Many many students um, write to us saying, uh, "I'm not sure you have the enough." Uh, knowledge at the beginning uh, where I can practice again. Uh, we try to collect all the all the most important questions in our SAQ section at the end of each modules. So I will invite you to, to check this, but uh, I would also invite you to write us for any potential questions uh, or I mean, if you have any any problem or any doubt on the, on the on the courses, uh, whatever, write to us. Don't be don't be shy. We will be happy to 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 answer you. Um, I don't see any other questions uh, in the in the chat. So maybe we are we were good in replying to all the potential uh, potential uh, questions and anticipate them. Uh, or maybe some of them are already disappeared. I know that in this period there are plenty of webinars, uh, online sessions, so people are kind of overloaded by this, uh, this online uh, experience. Uh, so um, I would like to thank you everyone for joining uh, today in this, uh, this session. Again, feel free to write us in the next days by mail, uh, and I really do hope to meet uh, many of you in person doing our next uh, big dive uh, courses. So, bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.